Did you see each other before 2006 a lot, or? A little bit more, but it was... Re 2005 was really the catalyst. We mm. got offered a TV show in Germany, and obviously something was the right time. Uh, we, I phoned Paul up and said, do, do you fancy actually doing a TV show at OMD just once, just for the weekend? And he said, yeah, well, why don't we call the guys and just do it? And it was when we were sat in a bar like this in Cologne in 2000, May 2005, we went, you know, we get asked if we want to do gigs again. And How does everyone feel about do wanna, that? Do you want to do it? And everyone went, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah why so not? we tried it. Yeah, and why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. I couldn't find a reason why not, yeah. really. So because, because you're really proud of the stuff that you did, you thought, well, now was the right time? Yeah, and, and we thought there was just something about the climate then. We thought, uh, you know, th there'd been quite a few bands, uh, younger bands, saying that um, OMD was a big influence. You know, there was there was a change in the climate, and we just thought, well, if we are going to try being OMD again and try dipping our toes in the water, it's kind of now or never, really. Yeah. So let's just give it a go. And so we booked nine shows, just to see if there was any interest. We had no idea if anyone would still want to come and see OMD. So we just booked nine shows and see what happened. And those nine shows turned into forty-nine shows, and then all of a sudden we seemed to be back doing it again. And the first time you wrote together again, what was that like? It's great, actually. Mm. Yeah, I really enjoy working with Andy. The only great. dilemma we had was that a geographical problem that Paul lives in London and I still live near Liverpool. So we thought we'd be very modern and send things up and down the internet. But actually, that was the only frustration was that we realised it's just too slow. And yeah. fi finally, actually, I remember I was talking to his girlfriend partner, Claudia Brooken from Propaganda, and I said, Paul is so slow. You know, I send him things, and she said, she said, you know what he's like, just don't give him a chance to be slow, just tell him to come to Liverpool and work with you. I said, yeah. OK, I'll do that. <laughs> Paul, come to Liverpool. <laughs> and, and, so um, that's what and, he, and then he started coming to Liverpool, and that's it. When we're together, that's the spark, that's the chemistry of the instant reaction when we work together. Was that song, uh, w were you afraid of that song, the first song he actually wrote together? How, how many years didn't you write together? Do you know what I, f I felt? I mean, because we've, even though we hadn't written together for ages, I was just totally comfortable yeah. immediately working with Andy again. As the saying goes, it was like riding a bicycle. Yeah. It yeah. Just did it again. Yeah. But I particularly have enjoyed the process of English Electric even more. Yeah, why? Because we have spent more time together on it. We spent more time in a room together, and um, and I think I think. Um, History of Modern was us getting up to speed, really. Yeah. We were just starting to kind of get the wheels back in motion. And I think with English Electric, we're kind of pretty much up to speed now. What, what was the starting point? What songs? Uh, of it? Or did you, did you discuss maybe what you wanted to do? Yeah, actually, yeah. We, we had two things. We had the title before we started yeah. writing the album. How, who, yeah. who, who came up with it? Me. Andy came up with it, yeah. Why? What, what, what um, was your... I, when I was a kid, I saw an English electric Deltic diesel in the Science Museum in London. And the funny thing was, it was 15 years old, it was in a museum, but I thought it looked like the future. That is probably a metaphor for OMD right there, <laughs> you know, retro-futurism. Um, but it was, um, I just said, I just, you know, I'd like to, why do we call them English electric? Because there's, there's all sorts of puns and things going on, you know, we are an English electric band as a company that used to make these amazing things that's now part of the past. And we also made supercomputers, yeah. the first supercomputer, yeah. made this amazing computer that was, it was built in the, in a, you know, the whole computer fitted in a warehouse and it just looks fantastic, you know, it was probably a, a hundredth of the power of my phone now, yeah. but it fitted in a warehouse, you know, and it, so it, it was, you know, it was an important company at the time, and we just thought it was just a great title mm. for the album. So I, I loved it right away. Yeah, that. And then there was, um, we started to have a thing about, you know, the history of modern album was good, the songs are good, but it's kind of good like junk culture. It hasn't got enough concept in it. Like the first four albums had a deeper kind of intellectual concept. Can we combine our songwriting you know, our abilities, because we were, we were confident after History of Modern, yeah, we can still write songs, okay, we can yeah. still do that, but we need to do more. Uh, so can we get more of the kind of conceptual element in? And also, can we do it more simply? Because just because we've got this technology now where you can have everything and everything and more and more, 
our early stuff was so simple because the mm. idea worked. You know, the song was good. We didn't need the producer because the five parts of the song were perfect. Can we make it that simple again? So these were the elements that we said to ourselves yeah. before we even started. You were saying five parts. What five parts? Well, let's say drums, bass, chord, melody, vocal. Okay, that's how you sing it. Yeah.